so this is part two of my get ready with me video this is the makeup look that I just did So click the link below if you want to see how I did my face. I wanted to do a part two of my hair because I've been getting a lot of questions about what curly hair I've been wearing for the longest time. I only wear two type of curly hairs and the main one I wear is Tiffany Hair Studio Indian Curly Hair. I've been purchasing from them since 2008 and some hair up in here is actually some hair from 2008. It's the Indian Curly Hair and I made it on a unit. So it's a half wig. And no, this is not my hair. A lot of people think it is my hair in real life or camera. It's not. I rock my hair in the front. So the same procedure that I've been doing is the same way. And um, when I rock my hair at night, I use water on my hair. Um, Mazzani setting lotion. This is a great setting lotion. It really holds really well. And it's if you can't find this one, because this one is a little expensive, the Lottie Body. Um, I use the the green one. It's like green tea one. I use that one. It's similar, but this is a really good one. I'll spray my hair with this is peppermint moisturizer from Sally's. I usually spray the back of my hair with it because the back of my hair is just braided up and I don't touch it. And it's a great way for my hair to be protected. And I have no issues with doing it like that. And you only need a little bit of that. I used too much of this one time and it actually was burning my scalp. It was weird. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. I had a massive headache and I found out it's because of this spray. So you only need a little bit. It's literally like real peppermint and like something else. But it, it's really moisturizing. That's why I do like it. And then I also spray it on my curl setting part. So I spray my hair with the water and I mix it with the Mazzani setting lotion. And I just randomly spray my hair and then I use Blue Magic or the organic, I think, olive oil um, grease. I use that and I just, I don't know, this is a throwback hood grease. I've always used it. So I just pick it up and I like it because it smells really good and I just put it on my strand. So I really moisturize my hair a lot. And honestly, guys, doing this type of style is the reason why my leave out grew back. Because at one point, I was bald head, literally. The middle of my head, I couldn't do a middle part. It was tragic. And I swear, all I did was wear my hair like this probably half the summer. And my leave out is like here now. So that's just how I've been doing it. Because all the oils I put on my hair, when I do this style, there's no heat to it or nothing. And that's all I do. And I change my braiding pattern. Probably like I try to do at least twice a month as far as the braids. I don't really touch my hair anymore because I've been working a lot. So I don't really touch it. But I change it, meaning I just take it out and just rebraid it. I wash it every two weeks, but I change my braiding pattern like twice every month. Just so it's not the same pattern every time. There's no specific way I do it. It's just what I end up changing my pattern. And I've been using this lately. This is the Olive Oil Mango Butter Leave-In Conditioner. It smells so good. Before I started using this, I was using my Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner, which is still good. And I just, I was using this for a long time, for years, just because I use it on my natural hair and my weave. So it's not like I was wasting no money, but it goes, a real, it goes away really quickly because my natural hair is really thick and then the weave is thick too. So this is really good. I braid my clients hair with this stuff too. So you see I use quite a bit of it already. It's just, it's really good. I know some people say it made their hair feel hard, but it doesn't make my hair feel hard at all. Do is take my rollers out. Sometimes if I feel like it's a little too dry, I'll take my Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum to keep the frizz down a bit, and I just put it on. But you see, it's really moisturizing looking, so you don't need much. And I just separate this side because this side's gonna basically cover.
So blending, I do the same process with blending. I just twist my natural hair around the weave and I know you guys in the last blending video, y'all was like, I see your part. It looks weird. Why you still have parts in your hair? Because when you walk outside, I stay in Florida, your parts disappear because it gets frizzy. So I don't tamper with the parts when I first start blending it out because it just frizzes up and the parts separate. It looks neater that way. If I went to start blending like this right now, by the time I leave the house, it's going to be like a big old like poof. It's not going to really go well. It's not going to be defined. So I just take it right now and I just randomly get the weave and I twist my natural hair around the strands of the unit. Sometimes, like you see the hair can be a little too frizzy. I just take some more water in the morning, like right, right now I guess, and just freshen up the curls a bit with some water. It can be high maintenance if you let it be high maintenance. You kind of got to take control of the curly hair. And um, what I use on this hair, it just requires very little, but since I like this kind of wet look because when it fluffs out it looks so pretty right now it just looks a little stiff because it's just you know it's not fluffed out or the humidity hasn't hit it yet but um i use mixed chicks products on it all of it the shampoo and then the leave-in conditioner and for my conditioner i use the mixed chicks deep conditioner so all of that is just all mixed chicks pretty much that's all i use on this hair and for the curls i will apply I don't know. Oh, here it is. I love, I don't know if it's Deva Curl or Diva Curl. I love this brand. I love it on my natural hair and I love it on the hair. So I don't have my mixed chips conditioner. I would definitely get this one. The well, It's called One Condition Conditioner. That's what it's called. And it will make any type of curl pop. Like this is my new favorite curly hair line. It's expensive, but it's worth it. That's my blending. It goes like right in with the weave. Once again, I don't pull my hair already frizzing up because it's a little hot in here, but yeah, that's all I do with the blending as far as that. I know it looks messy, but I mean, it looks very, very natural like this. And if you want to get the chili baby hairs, um, I doubt that I still have baby hairs, but I had them when I was a baby, of course. But some people purchase them, but I don't purchase my baby hairs. Um, yeah, so I just kind of take a toothbrush, you know the trick, and just kind of create this little natural looking, you know, baby hairs, nothing major, want to get technical, um, but you don't have to have super soft hair to do this. Like some people be like, you gotta have good hair, whatever good hair is. No, you don't. You just have to play with your edges a little bit. Cause I've done this stuff for other people as well. And their hair texture is different from mine. So it's just really all about how you um, just blend it out. So yeah, that's pretty much all I do guys and it's looking really wild right now I think because it was like I, it was hot in my house today so it's just like regular hair but like once again I say take some water and just spray it to freshen up the curls a little bit and then you can make it you know bigger or not but I had this like I've been purchasing from Tiffany hair studio for a long time and their hair is still the same which is very rare where that companies from years ago still had the same quality I mean sometimes I'll get like one bundle I got was not the right length it was actually longer than what I wanted and I was kind of mad because I actually wanted it a 16 not a 20 but I ended up using a 20 so this is how it looks and it's 20 inches some hair up in here is some other curly hair I can't remember from where but 
Yeah, but it's 20 inches long and they give you like all your length. So that works really well. And this is how my curly hair looks. So I hope that helps everyone and I don't do anything else to it. At night, I just do my process. I'll put water on the whole unit, brush it out, lay it out, that's it. I may add some of the styling gel, but not much. The only styling gel that I would use, it doesn't make your hair hard. I mean, it's the best styling gel. It's called the Light Defining Gel. The other one I have is actually, I think it's called not Del Angel, I'm talking about Del, like Angel Gel. It's really stiff, but it's good if you want that stiff gel. Because I hate using gel in my curly hair, but this is the only gel that I feel I can do working any curly hair. I tried it in Kinky Curly Weave before. It just gives it a nice defined, soft hold. It's great. So, that is all, and I'll holler at y'all later.